I didn't see the results um, from Arizona start coming in, but let me guess. Hillary started with 70% initial results, and it's been coming down all night, right? What is that? It's, it's 6.30 in the morning now, and it's... If it's at about... Yeah, it's been, it's been coming down all night. It's a little under 58. Um, you know, that's what you expect it to, you know, stabilize around 56 or 57, probably, right? We'll see where it comes up, but, um, that's the same, um, pattern that you saw in Ohio. And might be the same pattern that you've seen a few other places. And it's a very suspicious pattern. The time of day or the order in which the ballots are cast should not um, have any effect on the outcome. But there's not enough caucus states. All evidence suggests that they're just going to respond to any kind of pushback by more stuffing and making it harder to vote and everything else, right? So you have to understand that this was over before it started. There was never a contested primary. It's just all drama. And all you can do in response is refuse to vote for her and hope a third party appears with enough of a movement behind it to make a difference. And I got a couple of links here explaining that, um, you know, it's the same patterns that you're seeing in all these other states. Long lineups, um, you know, they um, have less ballots open, or sorry, less precincts open. Uh, they're running out of ballots. Um, it's still the same nonsense. That's obviously designed to make it harder for people to vote on voting day. Um, and... Um, not be able to um, overpower the significant lead that was built up um, in pre-polling or pre-voting. That's how you steal an election, boys and girls. Okay, so this is my um, takeaway from the night with the um, results, um, say, and... Um, uh, present as a path moving forwards. So, I claimed Bernie needed to be aiming for a 50-plus haul tonight, which would have been a 70% floor overall. He did get close to 80% in both Utah and Idaho, so he beat it there. But, Arizona carried on the same pattern where Clinton's lead in initial results um, was far too big to overcome with real votes. It's come down a lot over the night, as it did in other places, so I will reiterate, I, I don't think Clinton or the party is doing this for delegates. If you split a 45-55 result, it's not much of a delegate difference, although it does add up over 30 states if it consistently leans in the same direction, so much as I think it's about TV coverage. This is an important point, and it's that Hillary Clinton is probably the country's last serious conventional media candidate. She's the last TV-era candidate. Her base, and her base is not determined by skin color or language or anything of the sort, so much as determined by age. She's the old people candidate. Okay, she's the previous generation's last stand. So she's playing to the boomer and really acts her tendency to watch the results on TV and then go to bed. That's the real reason she's giving herself these insurmountable leads with supposed early voters, so that her base can go to bed, seeing her head by 20 to 30 points, and conclude she's winning comfortably. That's what it's all about. Okay. My math had him win Washington 60 to 40 and pointed out if a 70 to 30 win would give him some breathing room. But after underperforming in Arizona, he needs to be looking at something like the 75 or 80 percent he just got in Idaho and Utah in order to just stay on path. So he has to win Washington by a huge margin. And it may be his last, it will almost certainly be his last serious stand.